Hey, what is up you guys? My name is Dallin and today I'm going to be doing a Bob Ross tutorial and I know my voice sounds as soft as his, but I, I, okay, I'm going to shut up right there. But um, anyways, I am going to do this one hour long tutorial since I'm stupid and I just realized that's supposed to be a special and now I'm, I'm just you know trying to do this yeah for once <laughs> but um anyways you guys if you guys do want me to do more videos like this with a uh, commentary over my drawings or anything like that please give this video a like and maybe subscribe if you do enjoy this video and yeah let's get right into this <laughs> Hello, I'm Bob Ross. I'd like to welcome you to the joy of painting. Okay, through this tutorial, oh my goodness, through this intro alone, I feel like I'm not going to do this very well because one, this is digital and two, this is digital. So, um, yeah. To start off, I suggest you get a tall glass of iced tea, sit back and view the tape in its entirety. As we mentioned earlier, normally the first thing we always do is cover the entire canvas with a thin, even coat of the liquid white. And there's one of the problems right there. This is digitally, not physical, so that's the problem. <laughs> I can't even like, first the canvas is, I guess you want to call it that, is already white. And yeah, so yeah, yeah I, I need to shut up. Tell you what, let's make a happy little sky. And for that, I'm going to go right into a touch of phthalo blue. Just a little bit. Just pull a little bit of the color out and then tap the bristle, bristles firmly into the color. Another screwed up problem right there is I cannot tap the screen very lightly to make it look like the color is fading. It's just going to stay the same color over and over again, which sucks very much for digital painting in general. I, I, have to use another technique in order to actually do this but I, i'm still able to figure out a way though which is um a good thing right there let's have a little touch of water in this painting i love water and it's always fun to do so i'm going to take go right back into my thalo blue and reach right over here and grab a touch just a touch of the thalo green now decide where you want water to be and pull from the outside in start on the outside Pull in. Just, I, I can't even explain myself because you guys already know I cannot swipe my brush like that because digital paintings hate me and others very much. I mean, if they know how to do this, that'll be great for me to know as well. Yeah. That, that's great. Also, I can't mix my brush as well or the colors. So, yeah. We'll build a happy little cloud. Maybe he lives right in here. Take the corner of the brush and just make tiny little circles. Tiny little circles round and around and around. Don't stay in one place and keep working. If you just stay in one place here and, and keep grinding the paint. Now, the clouds are not that hard to make, really, be honest. His method of uh try to make the clouds are very smart because it, it makes this pattern of a cloud which is very nice but i remember him saying that to add some type of red in there as well so that's what i did and i'm looking at this now and i just realized i made a big mistake so yeah that is the one bad part right there that it i mean multiple bad parts right there yeah Let's build, maybe we back in here, there's just a small little mountain that lives. So let's take a touch of Prussian blue, a little bit of uh, midnight black. We're going to get a little touch of Elizabeth crimson. So we get blue, black, Elizabeth crimson, 
here. Maybe he lives right here, just floats around in the clouds. Push very firmly, very firmly. We're trying to push this color right into the fabric. And you just decide where you want little bumps to live. See, there's one. Wherever, wherever you want them. Maybe there's one. And another part of the tutorial that's kind of impossible for me to do. Uh, so, again, me mixing all the colors. Big problem right there. I'm not saying that Bob Ross doesn't know what he's doing at all. I'm, I'm not saying that. Okay, I need to shut up, actually. Because I, I really like Bob Ross's methods. But the only problem is stuff that on digital painting, it seems a little limited. Or a lot limited right there. It's, I just figured out now of the benefits of traditional painting and yeah I'm just figuring that out now like just now so yeah I'm just saying this right now these are okay maybe there's some maybe there's some snow on that little mountain so we can take some titanium white and once again pull it out as flat as you can get it just really pull it out then go across Get that little roll of paint. See, there he is. Tiny little roll of paint. Let's go up here. Okay, now then, right along in here. Take the point of the knife, put it right up at the top of the mountain. No pressure. Just let it float. Just let it float right down the side of the mountain there. All right, this one seems pretty easy to make. I mean, all I need to do is just put some white slash blue. I don't even know if I actually mix blue into the drawing here or to or the painting I don't know why I said drawing but yeah it's uh yeah use a one inch brush and I'll just go right into that and just pull it through just to load a little paint on it like so just like so okay let's go up to the canvas now you have to make a big decision here where's your little foothills live maybe let's start right in here maybe just using the corner of the brush maybe they just come right down Oh, uh, okay. Um, I don't know how to do that for digital art because the way that he moves his hands and everything. Oh my goodness. He's a master at this. He's a professional. I'm just this artist YouTuber on here, <laughs> but, um, yeah, you know, I'm just going to try to keep doing the same thing I did with the mountains, except a little lighter. I think, I don't know if I did that. Way back in the distance, there's some little evergreens that live. Now, the only way to make these show is to save this little misty area. So touch it with this, that nice chisel edge. See here? Don't kill that little misty area that's in between. All right, so this part right here, the trees, I failed on miserably. Like, it'll look like it's fine, but it's like, to me, it, it just looks so weird. I don't know, but the way I did it, was like I was trying to make the point like basically a line but at the same time they'll try to bring the strokes like Bob Ross did it and it, it was just impossible for me to be honest and I had a big problem with the trees in general well not the trees that pop out but you know now then let's create some reflections right here let's take a two inch brush decide where you want reflections to be grab and pull straight down because these trees are short, just have short reflections here as you work outward, let them get a little longer. Now in general, I had really fun with the reflection and mist because I can just use the brush that I usually use in general to actually bring out that little misty colors. I, I can't even explain it very well. Yeah, I kind of went all out on the trees to be honest here. I had really, like I had a really fun time creating the trees in general with um, the trees with the other colors and anything like that. It, it was really fun to make, but um, the only problem is those that I can't create the same texture that he does with the other trees. So yeah, that's well, that's a big problem that I had right now with the um, with this, so uh, yeah. Let's decide, maybe there's a happy tree, evergreen tree, he lives right there. Start with just touching the canvas Use just the corner of the brush, just the corner, and begin pushing, making the bristles bend slightly downward. See there? 
Look at that. Isn't that a nice little tree? Hey, go slightly above the dark. Give it the least little touch. And just push slightly upward. You're just barely bending the bristles. It's a delicate little touch. No pressure. And then work in layers, working downward. See there? There we go. Down, down. Yeah, like I said before, this, um, the trees in general, I went all out and in general, I couldn't have that same effect of the trees that he had since his was traditional and mine is digital. So that's that whenever I try to, I think I just need to learn more, I guess. I don't really know. I only had this for like a couple months and I, I'm just starting to find out more about the tablet that i'm using but um yeah so i uh, yeah i went full out on the uh trees so yeah maybe you want to have maybe back in here it lives maybe there's a, a big rock big stone ah oh, there he is still using the small knife and just reach up in here just like you were doing a little mountain just let this bounce along and put some highlight on that rock isn't it? yeah i fell on the rock miserably so yeah center painting just like so and this thin paint will flow see there we go and i hope you've enjoyed this painting wow look at that masterpiece right there and then look at mine just yeah that's that's all i can do so um anyways you guys i hope you guys did enjoy this video here and if you guys did please give it a like comment share and subscribe even though my energy is very low oh well well anyways you guys i will do i don't know well anyways see you later bye